Hi guys, it's Mr. Moore. Uh, today I'm going to take you through uh, our Spanish 2 class, Lección Preliminar, um, which is the preliminary lesson. Um, that is, this is going to be what we do the first week in class. It's a shortened week, and it's just a little bit of review to get you um, thinking in Spanish again, working on some of the particulars of the language and so on. You'll notice at the top of this page, which all of you will have received on, on Tuesday or Wednesday, says Prueba, which means quiz. Uh, that should be a hint to you right there that uh, when we do our little quiz on Friday, it's just going to look like this blank sheet of paper, only you're going to be filling it out from memory in addition to any verbal activities that we do that day. So a little heads up on that in advance for those of you who watch the videos. Those of you who watch the videos and, uh, and uh, use the space bar to pause things and use that as a study tool, that will be very helpful for you this year. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, <clears throat> first one, just a review of the subject pronouns. In class, you would be filling these out. <clears throat> excuse me. In class, you'd be filling these out in Spanish next to each one. So I would, of course, is yo. You informal, of course, is tú with an accent over the u. He, of course, is l with an accent over the e. She is ella. You formal is usted. We is nosotros. You all informal is vosotros. Again, used primarily in Spain, and that's not something that we usually test on as much with the vosotros form, but you should be aware of it since it is used in Castilian Spanish. Um, they masculine is ellos. They feminine, ellas. You all formal is ustedes, not to be confused with usted, which is you formal, but Ustedes, which, it, which has an ES at the end. Um, I'm going to take you through AR, ER, and IR verbs, a few irregulars as well. I think what I'll do is I'll fill these out as we progress here, and that way you can have a visual as well as a pronunciation. Um, <clears throat> and let's go ahead and begin. So, hablar, of course, is to talk or to speak. So, therefore, I talk or I speak is hablo. Whoops. Um, you talk or you speak would be tu. Hablas, he or she speaks, or you formal speak, would be um, el or ella or usted habla, oops, spelling. We speak or we talk is hablamos. You all informal, you all talk or you all speak is hablais, H-A-B-L. Now this one's a fun one, it's control, apostrophe, then a, and that's how you get accents in Spanish as well. You can do that for any vowel. Just control accent. You can do that with an I, with an E, and so on. If you have questions about that, you can always ask me in class as well. Um, hablan for they speak, uh, or you all formal talk or speak. So, whoops, there we go. And there you go. Now you have your conjugations for AR verbs. Notice all the, the regular endings for AR verbs are o, as, a, amos, ais, an. If it were another verb, such as cantar, it would be canto, cantas, canta, cantamos, cantais, cantan. Um, and even with more complex verbs like dibujar, be dibujo, dibujas, dibuja. Dibujamos, dibujáis, and dibujan. So, just trying to get you a little bit more familiar with that. Let's go ahead and get rid of these real quick so we don't mess up our page too much. And each one of you should have one of these pages uh, in class. These are all, should all be have been given out to you. So, uh, comer, ER verbs. Hopefully you recall at this point that the ER endings are O, S, E, M, O, S, A, S, N. So, almost like AR verbs. So, um, como, oh, just for you um, who don't remember, comer is to eat. So, uh, yo como is I eat, tu comes is you eat, um, he or she eats, el or ella come, or that can also be you formal, usted, uh, you formal eat. Uh, we eat, comemos, come on, very good. Um, you all informal, the vosotros form. You all eat is comes. And remember, it's control, apostrophe, then an E, and that's how that shows up. And then comen, or they eat, or you all informal eat. 
Very good. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that real quick. Hopefully, this gives you a better idea of, of what, this, what this looks like visually. Um, okay, IR verbs, almost like ER verbs, except for they have, um, in the nos otros and vos otros forms, they're a little bit different. So instead of os, e, emos, eis, and they're os, e, emos, eis, and. For example, and I won't go through all the subject pronouns with this one so that we can be expedient, but uh, for escribir, which is to write, we'll be writing all of the, we'll be writing all of the conjugations um, for escribir. It's, uh, I write as escribo, escribes, or you write, he or she writes, escri, oops, escribe. Um, we write escribimos. Notice it's an I-M-O-S, emos, not emos, like in other uh, ER verbs. Escribis. And then for this one, control apostrophe I, so escribis. And then escriben. Pretty simple. Okay, so here we go. I write, you write, he or she writes, we write, you all write and they write. Now there's more to it than that, of course. It's not just they write. We're just trying to, for reasons of, of uh, expediency, um, that's how they're used 90% of the time. So continuing on from there, uh, a few irregulars. Uh, hopefully you remember, remember ser is an important one. So uh, ser is to be, and going through the conjugations, always in the same order, I, you, he, she, so yo, tu, Ele usted, nosotros, vosotros, ellos se hacen usted. This will always be in the same order. So for ser, you have soy, eres, es, somos, sois, and son. So if ser is to be, soy is I am, eres is you are, es can be either he is or she is, or you formal are, somos is we are, Sois, you all, informal, are, and son, they are, either ellos son, for they masculine are, ellas son, for they feminine are, or ustedes son, you all are. So there's a quick review of the verb ser. Continuing on, another common irregular, very common irregular, the verb ir, which means to go or to be going. So you'll be looking at this one, your meanings will be things like I go or I'm going. You go or you are going. He goes or he is going. She goes or she is going. Continuing with the conjugations of ir. Yo voy. Tu vas. Ere usted va. Nosotros vamos. Vosotros vais. And this one does have an accent. So here. Uh, ellos y así ustedes van. And there they are. Yo voy. Tu vas. El e usted va, nosotros vamos, vosotros vais, ellos e as ustedes van. I go, you go, he or she goes, we go, you all go, they go. Generally, 90% of the time. Okay, continuing on, getting a little bit closer to the end here. El verbo tener, que significa to have. So, yo tengo, whoops, yo tengo, tu Tienes, el e usted tiene, nosotros tenemos, come on, vosotros tenéis, oops, can't forget the accent, ellos e as y ustedes tienen, very good, so again, yo tengo, tu tienes, el e usted tiene, nosotros tenemos, vosotros tenéis, ellos e as y ustedes tienen. I have, you have, he, she, or you formal have, we have, you all informal have, they masculine, they feminine, or you all formal have. And those are your conjugations of the verb tener. Continuing on, just a little bit more for this first page in this first week. Definite articles or articulos definidos. These are the words that just mean the. 
Now, in Spanish, if you recall, there are four different versions of the word the. There's the masculine singular, masculine plural, feminine singular, and feminine plural. And we make these agree in gender and number with the words that they're preceding. So if, for example, we want to say the book, it's going to be el libro. But if we want to say the books, it's going to be los libros. Same for if it were a feminine word. Uh, the word for folder is carpeta. So um, the folder would be la carpeta, and the folders would be las carpetas. So very quickly, um, you would have el, la, los, and las. Pretty straightforward. That's how you would fill it in your sheet during class, which we'll all have the opportunity to do. And that's how you would fill it out for the quiz that will be on Friday as well. Continuing on, last section, indefinite articles or articulos indefinidos. These are the words that precede other words that don't, um, that are less specific. So instead of saying the book, referring to a book that we're aware of, I would say a book or some books, something along those lines. Pam Artuso, please call extension 8018. Here we go. Pam Artuso, please call 8018. Un, una, unos. Unas. So here is the masculine singular, feminine singular, masculine plural, feminine plural. For example, um, un lapis, unos lapises. Una mochila, unas mochilas. So again, we're always making sure that things are agreeing in gender and number, whether using a definite article, the word that means the, or indefinite articles, the words that could translate to a, and, or some. And that is your lección preliminar. There will be other videos. I hope that you weren't too confused by this first one. The idea is that we get a little bit better at screencasting as the year progresses. I hope that this helps you. Uh, remember, the space bar is your friend. So if you don't catch something, feel free to pause it, rewind it. Go back and do it again. The reason I do this is so that you can hear the way it's pronounced outside of class, not just during class, and hopefully give you a little bit more practice. And for you parents who are watching as well, you can always use this to help guide your students as well. Hope you guys are having a great day, and keep on learning.